Hola, Gules. Welcome to Barça on Air. We're here at Ciudad Sportiva Joan Gamper to bring you all the match preview against PSG. Tomorrow is the second leg of the quarterfinal. I'm here with Alti. Yes, Alti. Yes, how are you doing? Yes, we're here at our training grounds. We're just 24 hours away, a bit over 24 hours before the big game against PSG, the game that everyone I think is waiting for. We played last week in Paris and we took a huge result back home, a 3-2 win and not only a win, but it was a convincing one. And now it's the return leg, second leg at home with our fans. And we're going to hopefully try to get our hands on that golden ticket to the semifinals. Which is a big one. It is. It is for, for us. Sure. It's not easy to play in the Champions League. It's not easy to be in the quarterfinals. But having the chance to have that ticket for the semifinals, it's just going to be, we said it before, 90 minutes away from that possible semifinal, which is everything for us it right is. now. It is. I'm very, I think everyone's super, super hyped and excited. Now we have about a thousand culés here live on our YouTube. Remember that we're live on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Discord. Drop down where you guys are watching us from. Like always, we always love to read out the comments. So drop down your country's flag or your city's name, and we'll be reading out some of your guys' comments. Um, but yeah, we're here to tell you guys all about what's going to happen in the, the upcoming hours here in Barcelona as we are getting ready to take on the French side. PSG have already landed here in Barcelona. They had uh, Hakimi, he attended the press. Then after that, our head coach, Xavi Hernandez and Pedri also attended the press. We're gonna show you guys all that content and much, much more, but just stay tuned right here. Meanwhile, we're gonna read some of your guys' comments. Uros is from watching from Ser Serbia. Baby Vibes is watching from Algeria. Dimi from Macedonia. So many people from Algeria. What do you say? What do you no, say? I, I, I'm trying to see the comments, but I don't know why I'm not available to see it. I am seeing Nidal B.I.G. is from Australia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm getting so many vamos. I think everyone's just super excited for this game. Let's see. We should be. Uh, um, Nairobi. Let's see. Syria as well. Eris is from Albania. Mean Bros from the USA. What time is it in the USA? You're in the West Coast. It should be around 7 in the morning. In the East Coast, I'm guessing like 10 a.m. Um, Axel Mames from Argentina. Peter from Belgium. Richard Osta from Lebanon. And Miki Moko from the Netherlands. Have you gone to the live chat? Almost, not yet. Okay. Almost. Well, we want to talk a little bit okay, about... Now you got it? Okay. Yes. If you want to read out some comments, then we can head yeah. into... Also, remember that uh, to the people who is here and joining us right now, eh, también en castellano, en catalán, eh, podemos leer los mensajes si están desde Latinoamérica, <coughs> países hispanohablantes, eh, si aún se están bien desde Barcelona, Cataluña, Tarragona, Baleares, supongo. <laughs> ya, Andorra. Eh, envió un mensajes y parlaré. <laughs> you guys, are, oh no, okay, okay, okay. So we have some water just attacked yeah. us right now, but I think we're good. It's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Okay, uh, so yes, Sweden, Yemen, Zambia, Sweden. Uh, Farad Aziz, Farah from Pakistan, Farah Aziz, hello from Pakistan. As well, uh, Canada, India, Spain, philosophy, Spain, well, España, saludos. Barcelona, ah, es Cap de Venezuela, ¿qué tal? Hola. Vale, pues, que hibernaba también Venezuela, Indonesia, India, Argentina, Bangladesh, muchos países, mucha gente conectada, eso es bueno. Muy bien. Yes, we have about 2,000 culés joined here right now in Barça on Air from all around the world. We're so happy you guys are here with us. I feel like you're always here in spirit and we absolutely love your guys' support. Now, we want to talk about what happened today. It was the final training session ahead of this big game against PSG. The players once again looked in very high spirit. Remember that we're coming off the back of another big win in La Liga against Cadiz, an amazing bicycle kick from Joao Felix. So the team is just in a constant good spirit. Hopefully, we can maintain it and get a big win tomorrow. But yeah, the training session was here. You were there for the majority of it. If you want yeah. to talk to them about how you experienced the last training session, yeah, yeah, I think uh, literally the good thing about not playing or not being in the Copa del Rey final that week 
it allowed us to prepare the game against PSG in Paris for one week and a half. Uh, and this time, I think uh, the players know they're playing at home, they're playing with their fans. And obviously that's always good, but you totally see like on today's training session, they did a lot of tactic. Yeah. They were practicing many different things and from the game uh, last <clears throat> week. And I obviously all, also watching the game against Cadiz. I think they're more than prepared and they're dying for playing this game and and obviously give the chance not just for that the team to all the fans to have the opportunity to leave a semi-final after many years definitely definitely it was a great training session everyone was in smiles and then after yes. pedri our midfielder which we're super excited that he is back he attended the media so let's take a look at what he had to say before barca versus Steve. Sí, son partidos que, que todo futbolista quiere jugar eh, con muchísimas ganas, muchísima ilusión de, de brindarle un, una alegría a nuestra afición. Bueno, sobre todo eh, tener la pelota, eh, estar eh, físicamente en los duelos, eh, ganarlos eh, casi todos o todos los que podamos y bueno, eh, sobre todo pues, pues ayudar en, en los dos contra uno, en los uno para uno, eh, que nunca tengan eh, esa opción clara y, y sobre todo quien tenga la pelota de, decidir el partido. Creo que es el más importante que, que hemos tenido hasta ahora en, en esta temporada y bueno, eh, está claro que, que tenemos muchísimas ganas de estar con nuestra afición en Montjuic, que, que nos apoyen, que, que ya lo han hecho durante toda esta temporada y estoy seguro que, que se vivirá un ambiente espectacular. Nos significaría un, un premio para esta plantilla que creo que, que se lo merece, que, que hemos eh, dejado la piel de, en todos los partidos, eh, tenemos muchas ganas de, de sobre todo eso, darle a nuestra afición ese pasa semis y ojalá pues, pueda ser así. Before this big game against PNC, you can just tell through his voice, the excitement. It's like you were saying, they're really counting down the hours to be able to play this match. Especially for Pedri, he's been out for some, some time. And for him to know that he is fully fit for this game, like he was for the first leg, but now even better, I think it's, it's a great thing. And you can just tell by the way he speaks and his body language. I think he arrived just in time. Yeah. Because right now is the biggest part of the season. Uh, we have a big, big chance to be in the semifinals to play that. That just the idea to be here in the quarterfinals and possible semifinals is just insane. Always, is we think about it, all of the players are never gonna get injured. It's something that it can happen. You're an athlete, you're a footballer, you're a professional. These things can happen. But for him, I think it's just amazing to be part of it. And he also said it not just for us, also in the press room, that for him it might be one of the biggest games of his career so yeah. far and i'm Oof. we know that for sure like it's and so gonna be it's, also one of I the biggest so. games because it's my first possible semi-final but also my first quarter final since i arrived here on the club so for all of us shabby the team the players the new signings la masia players for everyone it's like first time so it could be amazing if we just achieve that by the way yes i was thinking about it before you know what day is tomorrow Tomorrow's the 16th, or say the 16th. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's the 16th. Uh huh. What about the 16th? He's number six. There's a six in the date. Oh, there's a six in the date. I was like, well, of course you would say that. It's like I'm like all the fans. The coolers, yeah, the coolers are all obsessed with this, and I love this trend of everything's like five plus one. Okay, it's a sign. Tomorrow's we the 16th. To... We'll take off the one and we'll circle the six. Um, yes. Semi-final checklist. We're very excited. We want to ask you, Gules, watching us from wherever you are around the world, how excited are you for this game? Rate it from a 1 to a 10. Drop it down below Ooh. in the live chat, and then we're going to go on to the next section. But we want to read your guys' comments. By the way, I'm seeing so many of you guys are saying, can we have a possible Clásico in the semi in semifinals if we qualify? Unfortunately, no. If well, things go well and we go to the final and Real Madrid as well, we can meet them. The in final. the final, but not in the semifinals because that would be either against Dortmund or Atletico de Madrid. So can't there cannot be any possible uh Clásico in the semifinals. Um Bechermando said, on my way to Barcelona to watch the game. Amazing, amazing. Bechermando. We'll see you here. Actually, tomorrow we're all going to the game. Yes. So it's nice to see these messages. Forever Youngkiss is going with 10 million. One out of ten, he's going with 10 million. Mm -hmm. KK Foot Talk is going with a thousand. Amir Joker is going with a ten. Sam Rectro is going with a ten. He put two flower on a hearts. I love that. Palak Panjwani is saying ten out of ten. 
Demi is going with 10,000. A lot uh, of 10,000. So many, yeah. Unknown Super guy is saying, excited. please mention India. Hello, India. Hello to Always. all of the Kules in India and all around the world. India is like, we have a lot of fans in India. So we want to give a lot. our love, to, our blah, we're going to love to all of you Kules in India, especially the ones that are watching right now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing so many thousands. We see you saying 100% excited, guys. I think that about that sums it all up. No. Oh, oh! Even the bla- the, the the people <coughs> who's not a Barca fan or not probably from other team. Oh, oh! People like they don't like football that much. I'm hundred percent sure they're all like expecting this game because everyone wants to see that game. Everyone wants to see Luis Enrique now at home here at Barcelona. Yeah. He's gonna play it against his former team at Stadio Olympic. The atmosphere. It's gonna be amazing. Many different things to be on top of this game. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And you know what also was amazing? The first leg. The first leg against PSG in Paris. That 3-2 win. Take a look at the graphic. Our full-time graphic. It just, I think it says it all, this picture. Rafinha with a brace. Two epic goals. And Christensen, the birthday boy. I actually, after the game, I said, happy birthday. And he said, it's the, and I said, congrats on the goal. And he was like, it's birthday luck. Definitely birthday luck, but I mean, a lot of skill also. Because he's a very talented player. But let's see, um the highlights if we can of that win it was incredible we were there we experienced it how would you guys rate the game rate the game with an emoji maybe down below on the live chat we're gonna read it i'm gonna drop down the cold emoji like the cold face emoji because i think it was just a cold performance like we went out there even when they scored two on us we maintained our calm and we're like okay we're gonna hit you guys back it was amazing. Rafinha's goal, amazing. Pedri's assist, amazing. Christensen getting subbed on. A minute later, he scores. Everything was just story. It was just like a storybook ending. Um, here we have the highlights on screen. The first goal of of Barca, Rafinha. That pass from Lamine and the Rafinha goal. We have to say it. Like we were all a little bit nervous. It's not easy to play away from home, no. away from your fans. And also against a team like PSG, because if they're in the quarterfinals, it's because they're also good enough to be in the quarterfinals. But for us, it was too much things. And I remember when he scored, we were like shocked and waiting, like, it's a goal, it's not a goal. Yeah, yeah. Because at some point, we're not always having like a good point of view on the pitch. And I remember he scored and he went straight to the other corner. And it was insane. It was insane. The first goal, I'm not going to say anything about... We started the second half. Uh, with that two goals against, mm-hmm. including the melee and the other goal. And we're expecting like what's going to happen because you definitely see like from our point of view and later on with all the people we talked about it, I think we all played a really good game mm-hmm. from bottom to, to the top, like uh, goalkeeper, defenders, midfielders, forwards, everyone were performing really well. And we scored that second goal, the equalizer. And when Christensen scored the header, we were like, no way. <laughs> he just scored. Christensen scored a goal with his head here. And it was just like a few minutes away from full time. I think it was key for us to win in, P- um, in Paris. Obviously, it's a shame that this season we don't have that rule of the away, away goal. Goals. Yeah. Ooh, but imagine but even though it's like it's huge it's a huge win for us i think also mentally it's a huge win for the players knowing that they went down to they were trailing 2-1 and they were able to overcome it <laughs> win the game and win the game in a very hostile environment i i don't know about you but my ears were kind of ringing after the game there were the, the local fans were very loud there were so many ultras and just to be able to have such a comeback in such a hostile environment exactly. is is amazing and i think mentally we're really becoming stronger and stronger so i think it's amazing i'm gonna read out some comments bolo de Ku is saying too many emotions when they're looking at this they're looking at the highlights leila saying rafinha omg amazing kubarsi with some hand claps yeah and let's see let's see yasha saying what will the lineup be now if you guys stay tuned on barcelona in just a couple minutes we're gonna talk about our potential lineup that we think and we're gonna also ask you guys to drop your potential lineup down on the live chat but stay with us here because we're still going to talk about some things and then we're going to go into that but what was your favorite moment of the game <sighs> guys let us know also Kules, your favorite moment of the first leg against psg that three two thrilling win to bring back the home bring back the win back home to barcelona wow <laughs> it's not easy to find just one 
And uh, I have to say, full time. When I heard, <laughs> yeah, when I heard the final whistle, and I turned around it, and I saw all the players on the pitch like. And then the culés were amazing. Yes, amazing. Because in Paris, that the, I'm pretty sure that Park parked the points. I don't know how you say. See, it. you said it right. I think um, it was <coughs> like sold out almost. Yeah, and they were making noise and they're cheering their their team for the 90 minutes. But we had the chance to hear the fans, the culés, yeah, cheering like Barça, 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 or Barça es la nuestra vida. So it was like yeah. just that moment. Oh, we did it. It's amazing. We're going home with the win. Yeah, when you're saying, lo, 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 I feel lo, like lo, lo, after lo, lo, we got lo, in our lo. bus, the rest of our team and everyone was just singing it. Uh, like it was in my head for like the next 24 hours. Um, I'm reading your guys' comments here in the live chat. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go. <laughs> it's the chaser saying, my favorite moment of the game was Pedri's assist. That was brutal. The Pedri assist. He was here a second ago. We would love to bring him on, Pedri, for watching. Please join us next time on Bars on Air. But yeah, an incredible <laughs> assist from the youngster. Let's see. Piet Pieter <laughs> Van Heese is saying Christensen goal. Robin is saying Pedri's assist to Rafinha's goal. VNGH is saying Rafinha's goal. In Samurai is saying Pedri's assist first touch. Everything is about Pedri at the moment. Este, este comentario lo tengo que leer porque es, Dale. es muy bueno. Yo sé que, bueno, eh, Compe dice: Mi momento favorito fue la padreada de un niño de 17 años a Kylian Mbappé. <laughs> Como así, en este partido, goodness. Absolutely. His first starting lineup in the Champions League, 17 Absolutely. years old. And he played like a guy, 40 years old experience. <laughs> you know, like basically helping every time seeing the situations every time like blocking every time he was just like how is this possible insane why he's doing with his life we have an incredible picture of kubarsi kind of blocking the ball from oh, mbappe let's see if we can see i think it's on screen there we go we have yeah. it on the screen <coughs> insane this insane. picture is insane just his performance was overall insane and to think that he's 17 years old He's just, it's so really so nonchalant at this point. It's just so, yeah, no worries. Just a 17 year old starting. He played with a lineup, quarterfinals in Paris, huge yeah. game. And then he just drops a masterclass against some of the best forwards, forwards. and strikers. 100%. It doesn't really make sense to me. It's all kind of a blur. But yeah. Kubarsi, amazing. Let's get some clapping emojis here on the live chat for Kubarsi. But exactly, absolutely amazing. I'm going to read out some more comments. It's Karim is saying Kubarsi stopping Mbappe was incredible. Um, Mir Miraculous You is saying Ku, Ku, Kubarsi. Hossein is putting Pau Kubarsi with lots of Laragana hearts. You're putting also, clap Dash, emojis? Yeah, I did. I did the clap <laughs> emojis. Ata Kaleb say you have a best defender. Oh, and the uh, claps also. Keith of comedy claps. B N G H claps. Coo 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 Connor said coo 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 with like lots of clapping emojis. Oh, me, I said my favorite moment was the whole game. I oh, loved that match. I loved it too. It was so cool. It was very nice. It was very nice. I mean, saying coo coo is insane. Insane. Like, I completely, heavy, heavy. completely agree with you. Now, uh, you guys, I like this. Yash actually is saying, my favorite moment was my boy Rafinha's magic. Let's see. bring up the video of Rafinha's magic against PSG. Remember that he scored two goals. He did quite the celebration. The second one was like a little samba and Ronaldinho he, was in the crowd. So I don't know if it was he, he, for him or yeah, what. Yeah, he, he pointed at him oh, okay. and he danced and then he pointed again. Um, by the way, he scored his first goal in the Champions yes. League and then brace. Which is no like, biggie. yeah, no easy to score in the Champions League, but I'm going to do it twice, <laughs> you know, on the same night and on a big game, because if he didn't score that goal, we we never know how things can go, obviously, of course. but to, uh, it's a brace and his game in general it was great. Rafinha, it was wow. great. So good. It, it was, was great. So good. There is a video that surfaced on TikTok, which was so good. It was the moment where Ronaldinho came and hugged Rafinha See? and it was like he was giving the all these like vibes <laughs> magic and vibes to Rafinha he's like I got it and he goes and scores two goals it was an incredible video but yeah um we're seeing here Rafinha enter the stadium he just entered with already such a flow you knew something was bound to happen yes. you look by the way I love it how do you like it the braids yeah 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 Very I cool. so good on him yeah he needs to do it more often yes because it was like sure. a good luck charm. I was gonna say I think it's definitely a good luck charm um but yeah Rafinha was absolutely insane against PSG we're seeing though he's now 
he was warming up before the game um, in Paris. Einstein is saying that volley from Rafinha. Borutico is saying Rafinha with braids hits different. Yeah. I, I think we, we both agree on this. 100%. What else are you are you reading on your live chat? Yeah, I'm seeing here messages from Azerbaijan. Hussein Seinalov say, Hola, soy un fanático del Barça desde Azerbaijan. Saludos. Saludos. Pablo Diegues says, Visca el Barça, Dimecra será una veritable festa. Salutaciones desde Guatemala, en catalán. Oh, muy bien. Hola, Guatemala. Dimecra, sí, muy bien. <laughs> we sí. want to celebrate on, on Wednesday. Oh my God, imagine. <laughs> Okay, I can't. <laughs> I'm seeing Mona Carey is saying, I want to see a penalty shootout. No. no we no. do not want a penalty no, shootout. Not even extra time. Nothing. I want to close We this. want to get the job done early, fast, and clean. Like, get in, get out. Like, that's it. 90 minutes in and out. Final and whistle. Done. I really wish it could be clean shit. Yes. And big, well, it's not easy, but it's like if my dream, if we were like <laughs> comfortable in some way. I love it. I love it. Let's see. What else you guys are saying? Okay. Karan Sach Devi is saying, yeah. just arrived in Barcelona from India. India. Going to be in the stadium tomorrow to support Grande, the team. Karan. That's amazing. Yeah. Karan. We, we need a lot of guys. people. We hope you enjoy the match so much, and we hope that you bring good luck to the team. I imagine it's going to be your first time here in Barcelona at the stadium, so enjoy it to the fullest. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who else? Josué say, tenemos unas buenas admits. Un saludo. <laughs> Gracias, Josué. Fanáticos de Ash Barca. Geek is saying, my favorite moment is when the final blow mm -hmm. tomorrow, which will make us go through to the semifinals. We are waiting oh. for that final whistle from the from the referee. What? He goes from Absolutely amazing. Watching from Bangladesh, Shiva strikes. Hello. Let's okay. see, you guys, drop down your favorite moment here on the live chat. We're reading Let out know. some... Let's see. Okay, Chico saying Araujo's tackle versus uh, Barcola. We have some pictures, too. After this Rafinha video, we're going to show you guys some of the best pictures versus PSG. There is a picture of Araujo, speaking about Araujo, hugging Ter Stegen. I think it was after the game. Yeah, it was. And the emotion, his eyes are, like, shut, but, like, shut with lots of passion. And he's, like, screaming. And he's hugging. You can just... It, the picture transmits so much the emotion passion. and the emo everything. It's absolutely insane. We're going to try to get it on screen after this video is done. But grr, just so much happened in Paris. And we want to continue on this roller coaster that's keep taking us up and up and up. Um, but incredible 100%. stuff. It's kind of saying I screamed, I screamed when we won. But I think we all did too. We all screamed yeah. when we won. Exactly. Uh, is there anything else that they're saying? Favorite moment? Yeah. They're saying, mi parte favorita fue cuando pasamos el 2-1 al 2-3. For us also. Because that goal and that third goal, that actually was the final result. It was just the perfect final for for this game. Uh, who else? I scream, okay. Desde Iraq. Hello from Pakistan. They had asked us saying, fave moment was when Pedri was subbed on. Okay. Yeah. We have. Well, a... I mean, yeah, we're going to show it to you guys because it was like basically impact. It, obviously, hats off to Chevy and the staff. I think I'm going to sneeze. Really did that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to leave just in case. It's okay. Live <laughs> that way. Okay. No, okay. It's gone. It's gone. Continue. I'm sorry. If, if that happened to you, to your nose. <laughs> it goes away. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the staff, Xavi, all of them taking the decision of okay, let's do the substitution. Let's do uh, Pedri and Christensen. Okay, one provide an assist for a goal. Great, and Christensen goal. Okay, it <laughs> it's like perfect substitution. Perfect, perfect. Okay, we have the pictures here. Let's see. This is exactly what we were talking about the Christensen, but okay, yeah, the other whole picture is what I we wanted to show you guys. This type of oh, emotion okay. here, hugging Ten Stegen is. This is you love to see these type of pictures because it and you know what even if you're not there you feel like you're no, there for and you pictures. know what happened like when you're a goalkeeper it's always sad because you're kind of yeah, lonely at the back you're yeah. just right there alone by yourself yeah. and all the teammates are just hugging on the other yeah. part of the and beach you're like hey i'm here you're too. like vamos <laughs> just by yourself so, so at that point it was cute to see araujo obviously going for ter Stegen, both yeah. captains to hug each other and say wait we're almost done and obviously, we need to wait. We still need to play another 90 minutes. But 
we did that checklist it was like to-do list winning in paris done 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 in french guys drop it down below what is done in italian it's <laughs> fato in spanish it's catalan it's fet French. Guys, in Spanish, it's hecho. What is done in French? It's not we. Oui. We oui is yes. <laughs> <laughs> Drop it down below know. what the word done is in French. If not, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> we have Robert Van Eck out here dropping us a compliment. Hello. He's saying, hey, hey, so excited for tomorrow. Feeling as excited as I was when I was 16 years old. Let's get, let's go get this tomorrow. Where is it? Right here. That's so cute when you were 16. Robert, I'm, we're all super Woo! excited here. Andre, years old. <laughs> that was when we weren't even born yet. No, I'm kidding. Robert, we love you. <laughs> you Let's, were something. <laughs> Let's go through these. There we go. Termine means final. Done in French is fight. Cynthia, thank you fight. so much for fight. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, if but it's fight. Maybe. Fight. <laughs> Remember, they don't pronounce the last letter. Yeah, fight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should we ask Kunde? If Kunde was here, we would have totally asked him how to say finish fini. or done. Someone say ah, fini. fini. Claro, fini. Fini quitao. <laughs> First leg, fini. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, let's continue with the pictures. Here we have um, <coughs> Lewandowski, which who also had a very... Impressive performance really against PSG. Good. He didn't score, really but I think good. he was solid and he and he really helped the team throughout the, the 90 minutes. We have to say, like, not because obviously we're of Arsa fans and we work here, but I think, like, from the 11 players that were on the pitch the entire time, even though the subs, he was they were all playing amazing. Yeah. And Lewandowski performed amazing and he was really good that night, even though he didn't score a goal. But I, I have this feeling, like, tomorrow could be his night. But he I definitely so. deserved it. And against Paris, he was also really good. All of them. All. We have nothing else to say. Yeah, nothing. They're all Barca will great. Win. Just have... I hope so, too. Robert is saying, don't you laugh at my expense, chicas. We love you, Robert. Guys, can we drop some hearts for Robert, who is the host on Barca Live? Live. So make sure you guys check that out. I think we're going to have one for tomorrow as well. So, yeah. So make sure you guys check that out. A brilliant program <clears throat> taking you guys through all the emotions throughout the game. So make sure you guys don't miss out. It's going to be yeah. on YouTube as well. There's the, what Robert is saying. Lewy was amazing in Paris. Won every bottle. Yes, he did. He was really amazing, yeah. And Gokul saying Lewy and his whole up play good. <coughs> he was really good. Um, Let's see. La I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia. It's Dana. Say hi to Dana in Malaysia. Dana? Yeah. Dana. Yeah. Dana, Dana. Hello, Dania from Malaysia. Dania, Dana. Let's see if we can get now... The graphic of Pedri and Christensen, because I'm seeing a lot of Pedri comments still. And it's crazy that the the midfielder came on and in just, I think it was one minute, I think it was literally his first touch was the moment that he, he gave the assist to Rafinha. And Rafinha with an incredible volley. It was looked so easy, but it's such a complicated <coughs> shot. And then Christensen came on in the 76th minute, subbed on, minute later, 60 seconds later he scores a goal and it's the birthday goal it's the birthday like it was insane. insane it was just the right people that they need to came on the pitch obviously for them they know what they have to do but these things sometimes can get wrong or not in the way you want you know but this time it was just like the perfect substitutions both of them and uh, pedri's magic always yeah he also did it on scadis like every time he's fully feed and you see that he's comfortable. It's like he makes a difference. He's so good. And Christensen, now he's playing another position. Uh, but that game, he was just right in front of Donnarumma on the right <clears throat> spot. Header, that's it. He closed this. Yeah. And the final result is uh, three goals because of Christensen being on the right on the right place. And that's it. It's like you need that in this type of games. You need that part of prepare the game. And also, I think it's part of being lucky. You know, because sometimes you make an effort and you do your match and you do your best yeah. and you do everything, but it, it can go well or wrong. You you don't you can't control that. You know, like typical, you're doing an amazing game and you just have like crossbars and sticks and chances, but not enough. But this game, everything was right on the point for us. Even though if it's for me, I will do four <laughs> goals. But obviously, it's not easy. We're talking about PSG, nor any other and an teams. away match as well. Exactly. With a very hostile environment. But on the other hand, we had our fans with us. 
they were in the corner on the right hand side of the stadium and they were yeah. screaming they were supporting the team the entire time the entire time and then post match all the players went over to give their love and just say thank you for being here and flying or however they got to paris and supporting the team throughout the entire 90 minutes and cheering them on we have a nice little video here where it shows the players going in to show their love and support to the Kules. it was a beautiful moment here and at the very end, the the Kules started singing Uruguayo, Uruguayo. And then Araujo went like this, like, my heart is with you guys. It was a very, very heartwarming moment here. Alejandro dice, algo de español, por favor. Alejandro, estamos enseñando las imágenes del postpartido en París, de cómo todos los jugadores se acercaron a la gran animación, a, a darle las gracias a los Kules, porque fueron muchos a París y que además estuvieron apoyando todo el partido. No se callaron. De hecho, hubo momentos lo escuchaste, que durante el partido que quizás los fans del París habían bajado un poco, se escuchaba desde el otro córner, sí, en sí. el otro lado del campo, detrás de Donnarumma a los culés, gritando lo, 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 o cantando el himno, apoyando todo el tiempo, y por eso obviamente también los jugadores tuvieron que ir a darle las gracias porque lo que hicieron tiene mucho mérito, sí. escucharse en un campo que había tanta gente, tiene mucho mérito y mañana es clave, oh, que más. los que puedan ir claro. y nos están viendo, que tengan carnet, que puedan conseguir entradas, que lo que sea, hay que ir al campo y como dijo Xavi hoy hacer que sea una olla de presión y que el PSG se quiera ir a París en cuanto pise el campo <risa> porque it. sea todo el tiempo un ruido permanente eso espero, eso espero um, Robin Van Duarte is saying, Araujo give you a kiss after the match, yeah, you film that content when You gave, who was it that gave, uh, Vito Roque gave it to Yeah, Vito Roque. Gave the MVP because Rafinha was MVP after the match, handed over the MVP trophy, and I also gave him a nice little kiss on the head. It was so cute. They were all excited for for Rafinha because they know, like, he he's really, you can see that in the training ground at every time. He's really, I'm, I'm going to say, like, not harsh with himself, but he likes oh, to yes. push himself to the limit. Yes. And when he feels he's not doing everything, He's just angry with himself. Like, yeah. he, he's so good on that. And I think that game, the way he performed and the brace, receiving that MVP, they all knew, like, this is good for him because he's working so hard to, to get to this point yeah. that he was too excited about, obviously, the recognition of being the man of the match. It was it was great. Um, let's see. I'm getting a funny question here <clears throat> because we like funny questions. Drop any sort of questions you guys have and we'll yeah. try to answer them. Bolu de Cuba is saying, did you guys come up with the name Barça on Air? Actually, she came up with the name Barça on Air. It's a nice name, isn't it? She just, one day was in the office, she was like, what about Barça on Air? Because we were thinking of names. <laughs> and I was like, that's the one. We like it for sure. Barça on Air. Leave a one, guys. If you like the name Barça on Air, leave it two if you don't. We want to see ones, hopefully, on the live chat. But yeah, that's the... The reason that's, why. We that's kind of that. like the backstory of how we found the name of this of this show. Um, Love from Sri Lanka. I'm just amazed. Oh, no, thank you, thank you. Rihanna is saying, "What is? What are you guys' predictions of the lineup and the score?" We're going to show you guys that very soon. But first, we're going to play a game uh -huh. that you prepared called One Word. Yeah, you, you. Well, we said it before. Like it's a type. Of, I like to play this game because I think it's not easy, but at the same time, you need to think, and it's cool. We we should do something. You guys, feel free to give us. Ideas, yeah. And ideas for, for games and what, what you guys want to watch apart from highlights, pictures, graphics, whatever. Also, what we're going to do, challenges or anything we're, <coughs> we're going to do together. So, by the way, I've seen so one. many ones. Everyone loves Barca on Air. So many yeah. ones, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to start with the first one. Yes. I'm You're going to leave it? Okay. One second. Okay. I'll be right back. Uh, in English, you guys, you have to say with just one word 90 minutes away from con solo una palabra estamos a 90 minutos de hablo una palabra estem creo que lo estoy bien bien no mike estem o son no son a 90 minutos estem son a 90 minutos de a una palabra um, i'm going back to the live chat and you guys say the word go oh. Jose Velasquez, glory, 100%, glory. Okay. Love, also. Con una palabra, estamos a 90 minutos de... 
Sorry, guys. I'm back. I had to sneeze. No, we're not sorry. <laughs> I'm back. I'm a little okay. bit sick. I had to sneeze. And I'm, what are we doing? Which cool. picture are we doing? <laughs> no, first one. <coughs> 90 minutes away from that, that picture we're seeing. Uh, oh, that's amazing. You know what I mean? Some of them, you know what I mean? Go. Dream, be dream. So, someone says glory. I like glory. Ooh, I like glory as well. 90 minutes de la gloria. Oh, sounds so good. We have to say this though when yeah. we're now when we're in the semifinals. <laughs> Has Sarah gone to sneeze? <laughs> Rihan, I have gone to sneeze. Yes, because I didn't want to sneeze on camera and I felt like it was coming and I couldn't breathe, so I had to go. But yes. <laughs> So, I got you. <laughs> you guys got me. <laughs> yeah. Sensational. Sensational. Josh, I like it. Sensational. Glory. Dream. Let's see. Let's see. I would say. Orgullo. I would say, Sanchez, I would say champions here because they're holding the cup. The title. No, we can't. Ah, we have to say. It's ah, go ahead. Okay, okay. And you say I one more. Okay, I would go with Glory then. Glory, Glory is amazing. Glory. Yeah, I think Glory is amazing. <laughs> Even so, from the champions. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Ignacy saying Orgullo. That's what you read? Yeah. Let's destiny. see. Destiny. TK say Destiny. Legacy. Nine, Nine minutes, minutes away, away from, from leg Destiny. destiny. <coughs> oh, Bolu Deku is saying 90 minutes away from Revenge. Mm hmm. Well, but yeah, it's revenge. If you if you take, take an account of the territory, of, yeah. yeah. Emotions. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay. Let's see what we have for the next one. It is tomorrow's, tomorrow's game. game. One word. It, like to define tomorrow's game. Uh -huh. With okay. one word. Definir el partido Define. mañana con una sola palabra. Amo una palabra. Definir el partido de mañana. Eh, para mí. Should I start? Yes. No? Yeah. Para mí, el partido de mañana. You, you, is difícil, saying eh? legendary. Jet is saying insane. The goat is saying crazy. Faith is saying mañana. emotional. Eh, el partido de mañana. Luis is saying intenso. Sí. Ooh, I like this. User is saying semifinales. That's for me too. Semifinals. That's my word. Tomorrow's game, semifinals. Mm -hmm. I want to win and I want to get to the semifinals. <laughs> Nathan is saying battle. <laughs> Nishant is saying terrific. Sam is saying battle. easy. I don't think it's going to be easy at memorable. all. Memorable. I like it. Memorable. Easy. Rule. If we win, it's definitely going to be very Sensational. memorable. Sensational. Sensational. Okay. I like memorable too. Uh, we'll make. Charlie Harper, war. It's going to be a battle. Charlie Harper. Yeah. Like two and a half men. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, best hope for you, what would it be? I think I'm going to go with semifinals. <coughs> semifinals for me. Partido de mañana es? Extravagant. Deseo. Deseo de ver el partido y deseo llegar a la semifinal y deseo de ganar la Champions. Yeah, the sale. Yash is saying the hope. Sale. Okay. I like this. I like this. Hope? Hope. Hmm. Like, yeah. ¿Qué es hope en castellano? Esper esperanza. Esperanza. Sí, sí. Algo así. Okay, vamos a la siguiente. Estadio Olympic. En una palabra. Our temporary home is Estadio Olympic. En una palabra. Let's see. What are you guys saying here on the live chat? We're reading your guys' comments. <laughs> Nerea Gamers. This is inevitable. We hope we can arrive to semi-final, but step by step. Step by step, exactly. Tomorrow's game, victory. That's a good one, too. Good job, yeah. Cynthia. I like your profile pic, by the way. It's cool. Um, Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Estadio Olympic, I'm saying, Yash is saying beautiful. Riham is saying sensational. Let's see. Let's see. Yash is also saying beautiful. Sophia Rhodes is saying historical. It is a very historic stadium. Mm, yeah. We <laughs> so the admins here, we are not in the best conditions for this game. She has a bit of asthma. She was taking, yeah, she had to use her inhaler. <coughs> Let's see. Emotivo. Christian Ross is, is saying emotivo. The goat is saying sensational. <laughs> the 
pan de pan donde maecita hello to you buongiorno buonasera <laughs> bolu dijo she has my gun to sneeze as well no but she has asthma and she's needing it's to use her inhaler it's worse because this is not <clears throat> good for my health no it is not Okay, Ria's son asked her saying one word nerve wracking. <laughs> Sam, you two were catching cold from each other. <laughs> and I said, <"Wura." laughs> We're not doing the game tomorrow. They say uh, hello to me. <laughs> oh my God, the first house. Yash is saying magic, <laughs> glory. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we, she cannot laugh that much, guys. I don't know if you remember on Barca Live, but she, could ha she has like laughing attacks and then she needs to have her inhaler. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go to the next picture. Let's go to the next picture of what we have here. And it should be Cubarsi. Oof, oh. Cubarsi. So many words to describe this young guy. Talento. <laughs> Qué complicado. Let's see. What can you guys... What a beautiful picture, too, to define Cubarsi. Yeah. We love... This is his moment, the MVP hey. against Napoli. It was <laughs> such a great moment. Ahí te hacen, estoy emocionado por el partido. Todos, Mira, yo también. Locos, like mucho. <laughs> Los jugadores, el staff, el club, el presidente, nosotras. Todos, eh, todos. Creo que no hay ni una persona del Barcelona que no esté emocionado por este partido. Sí. The GOAT is saying, Cubarsi <coughs> is talented. Poderoso, Christian Rose. Rihan is saying, sorry for the cough. Thanks, Rihan. Um, let's see. ¿Están en el estadio del Barcelona? No. Estamos en la ciudad deportiva, que es donde los jugadores han entrenado esta mañana, donde hacen las ruedas de prensa, donde pasa todo antes del partido. Aria Barzagrad Bar Bar is saying gem to, per to define Kubarsi, but I like more J edits is saying cold. I think it's cold because the kid doesn't even realize, I think, how good he is. He just like goes on the pitch, drops a masterclass, and he's done. And he doesn't, it's like so very chill. Yeah. And I think it's insane to me at that at this age But to be doing if this. If he's like this with 17, oh, what he's 17 can he be in... with 35? Or 25, which is usually your prime years when you're a footballer. But What think are you going to be? What is going to do? It's insane to me. I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but this kid could be very important in the world of football if he continues like this. So we're very proud yeah. of him. 100%. Um, let's see. Faith is saying genius. <laughs> I, like, I like this. R Rafael Diaz is saying cool as a cucumber exactly he's very cool like it's just cold it's like <laughs> cold talent Super um uh, this is cool <clears throat> suvai is saying cubarsa with a fire cubarsa. emoji <laughs> so. should we go to the next one because Let's we're go. running yeah okay la masia <clears throat> this includes i don't know if you guys had the chance to watch the game against cadiz but marca sado <laughs> la minya mal pau guarti andra stralaga hector ford All these people that are playing this year with the first team, we have to define, well, describe or say one word. What does it mean for you, La Masia? For us, well, for me, I would say, um, I think I have a think, good one. Yeah, I'm going to say in Spanish. Lo vamos a hacer también en catalán y en español. Con una palabra, define La Masia. Con una palabra, define La Masia. Para mí es suerte. Que lo tenemos. Sí. Porque sin la masía sí. no hay Paus, no hay Gabis, no hay Fermines, no hay <risa> la todo means. el talento, exacto, la Mins, no, no hay talento que se pueda suplir con eso. Puedes comprar los jugadores que quieras, pero si son de casa y saben lo que vale este escudo y lo que hay que forzarse para llegar al primer equipo, son incalculables. O sea, valen hey, muchísimo más. Así que para mí es suerte. No, priceless. Priceless. Sí. Ok, I no, like, y, I que like somos, a lot. En, en, en castellano también, tenemos suerte de tenerlos, ¿no? 100%. Gold. Um, Mohamed Chal say gold. gold. I like that. Gold is nice <coughs> too. Chico is saying lucky charms. Gold mine. Nathan. Gold mine. Gold mine. That's good as well. Gem. I like it. One Gem. of a kind. A Luis Salazar Fortaleza. I think I would yeah. say timeless because we <coughs> see it happen years before with Messi, with Puyol, with Pique, with Xavi, all of those players. And now it's coming again. I just feel like La Messi is something that's going to be timeless. There's not really a date stamp on it. And it's something that is like what you said, super priceless yeah. that we can produce these players um, year in, year out. And it's been going on for decades now. So it's, 
it's very impressive to say the least. And I would say the word timeless. Let's go to the next one, which is the last one. Yeah, which we're gonna end on. By the way, yes, tell me. It's asking when is the match? The match is <clears throat> tomorrow at 9 p.m. Barcelona time. Yes. So we're more than 24 hours away from the game. So let's go. You said it to the yeah, last the one. The last one, which is Rafinha's goal. Well, he scored two goals, but I think the the second goal was definitely the more beautiful one. It was very nice, a beautiful volley. But his celebrations were amazing. Were amazing. The pictures were amazing. How can we define Rafinha's goals in one word? Drop it down on the live chat. We're going to be reading out your guys' comments. Hmm. Magical. Yash is saying magical. Colobi say magician. No. Nathan, magic. Clutch. Nathinia say chico. <laughs> Rayhan, Ascar is saying insane. Jay Edit is saying beautiful. Faith is saying skill. Nathan is saying magic. Yasmina is saying clutch. I like that. Yeah. Ebrima is saying mind blowing goal. Berlin Vlog is saying worldly. I like that as well. Memorable. Samba magic. Many deep. Yes, we have Rafinha Gaucho. <laughs> Gaucho. Dancer. Rafinha. <clears throat> Rafinha. Charles Desi is saying that goal was untouchable. You, you, Isra Rizki Abdila is saying, I think he was saying a textbook finish because he put textbook. I think what he means is a textbook finish, like a perfect finish. Everything that you look for is what you got from, from Rafinha. And I agree with <clears throat> Faithy that say Pedri's assist was a spectacular. It was. <laughs> it, it was in incredible. Yes. And the video from the stand mm -hmm. that we posted just shows that that angle is incredible. Like how far Rafinha and Pedri actually were from each other. And the and way he, he saw him. And the way his vision is, uh, his football IQ is very high. And he just whoop, planted it right in front of Rafinha. Rafinha finished, up, uh, finished off the job. So classy. Let's go ahead and talk about predictions because I know a lot yeah. of you guys want to talk about your score predictions, the lineup predictions. We're going to start with lineup, lineup predictions prediction. yeah. like we always do. We're going to ask you guys who you guys think will start at the back. I think it's very simple. I think we're all going to agree on the same player. It's going to be Marc Anders or Stegen. If you guys have any other player you guys think will start, drop it down below. But if not, let's go ahead and start on the back four, the defenders. I have mine. You? I think I'm going to go with the same as yours if you want you go and i'll say if it's the one i agree on and then kules also drop down your defenders who you think will start tomorrow against psg tomorrow at study olympic kules al vostra onza <coughs> eh, el once que quieren para mañana ya dijimos ter Stegen, portero sí para mí right back eh, que sería lateral derecho para mí kunde pareja de centrales cubarse araujo Y por la izquierda, left, I will say cancelo. Vale. Yo pensaba igual y voy con eso todavía. Ayuma Oljubi is saying cancelo, Kubarsi, Araujo, and Kunde. That's exactly what we're saying. Rihan is saying cancelo, Kubarsi, Araujo, and Kunde. I think they all kind of, we all are going to agree on this. Yeah. Nathan is saying <coughs> Joao Cancelo, Araujo, Pau Kubarsi, and Jul Kunde. Also, Cancelo, Kubarsi, Araujo, Kunde. It's the only one I see. I don't Jedi, see any other. Kubarsi, <coughs> well, guys, I think we all agree. I think no? we all agree that this is the one. Okay, okay. we all agree. I know. <laughs> Let's go and move up to midfield. midfield. <clears throat> you first this time. Midfield, I think we're going to have Gundogan. Uh -huh. I think we're going to have Frankie. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to have Pedri. Yeah. We need to remember for tomorrow. Sergi Roberto and Kristen Ser, they're not going to play because yes. they're out due to suspension. So we don't have ni Christensen ni Sergi Roberto pueden jugar. Frankie, Kundo, Pedri. I think I'm going the same. Badal Shrisha is saying Fermin, Frankie, and Gundo. Yash is saying Gundo, Pedri, and Fermin. Badal is saying Fermin, Frankie, and Gundo. So many Fermins here. Yeah. X3 is saying De Young, Gundogan, and Pedri. And Abdul is saying Pedri, Gundogan, and De Young. Yeah. And I think here we're seeing lots of Gundogans, De Youngs, and then Pedri. it's either Pedri or Fermin. That's what I'm seeing here yeah. on, on the live fact. chat. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Rihan see. Rihan say Gundo, Frankie, Pedri. 
Judith, <coughs> Judith Sierra, 6 Frankie, Romeo, no. No, it's not possible to do Gavi for this one. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Pedro de Jong. That yeah. is the midfield that we are going with as well. Let's go up to the attacking line. Yeah. Who we think will start. Okay, let's go. I think Lamine for sure. You will do Lamin for sure. I do Lewandowski for sure. And I do Rafinha no. for sure. But who's going to play for the left? Rafinha or Lamin? Because Lamin should would, play for the right. I would do Lamin right, Lewandowski in the middle, and Rafinha left. I think I would love to see Joao Felix in the starting lineup. Joao with Rafinha and in the middle, like a uh, center, obviously, as a forward, is Lewandowski. So, <clears throat> uh could be nice but i think it's not gonna happen because obviously it's also good when you have joao felix on the bench and he comes on the beach yeah. he's really crazy to score goals and yeah and, and just to be part of the game in a huge way so it's always good to have it we said it in spanish as a revulsivo like someone who can change a game a little like bit and spark. bring yeah bring this energy but maybe it's a good day i don't know but i i think rafinha and lewi for sure i'm doubting about the other one should be Lamine, maybe. <coughs> yeah. I think Rafinha for sure will start, especially because of his momentum heading into this game, having scored two goals against PSG in the first leg. Lewandowski had an incredible game as well. And I think Lamine is just a player you always want on the pitch because he can just give you that 1v1, pass the players, dribble, take them on, and it seems like a piece of cake to him, which is something very complicated against very difficult, experienced players at the highest level. Um, so I think we're going to go with that those three players. Let us know what you guys think, and we're going to read out some of the comments. Mona is saying, Joao Felix, Lewandowski, and Rafinha. p Rox is saying, Lamine needs to rest a bit. <laughs> uh, Mona is saying, Joao Felix, Lewandowski, and then Rafinha. No, it's, it's a good point, actually, because we <clears throat> can't forget that this Sunday we're going to play it against Real Madrid. Yes. So that is true. Obviously, just we should go game by game. Tomorrow is a big one, but we can get crazy. And just throw everything because it's the quarterfinals. Uh, because if we possibly play the semifinal, we also need the players to be fit of course. and perfect. Of course, of course, of course. Let's see. Should we do the... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You're seeing the messages? <laughs> um, I'm getting a lot of also messages of Lamine, Lewandowski and Rafinha. But a lot of you guys want Joao Felix to start. I mean, it also makes sense having scored that amazing bicycle kick goal against Cadiz over the weekend. So it makes sense. Maybe Xavi does want to give him a start. We'll have to see. It's all up to you, Xavi. We trust you 150%. But with that said, let's go ahead and talk about our score predictions. So we're just five minutes away before oh, closing we'll off this live and saying goodbye to you. So score predictions. Drop score it down on the live chat. What do you think will happen? You. <laughs> in the live chat. ¿Qué resultado espera mañana? Resultad para dama. <coughs> I was like, <laughs> ¿qué? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say, I wish it would be Drama, Galeala. please. Galeala. But no, but. <sighs> Should we do it ASMR? Yeah. Does that sound cool, Mike, or no? Okay, cool. <laughs> No. <risa> vale. Eh, me encantaría un 3-0. Me fliparía. Me volvería loca. Pero I feel it would be 2-0. Okay, I actually just saw VNGH wrote 2-0 as well for Barca. So you guys are going, you guys are twinning with the with the <laughs> prediction. <laughs> Jay Edit is saying 2-1 for Barca. And Yat Ariane is saying 2-2. That would still mean a Barca win because no, on, yeah, on, aggregate, on aggregate we would win on the global score. We would win, but we don't want that. We want it to be simple. No. 90 minutes in, 90 minutes out, and we take the win. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Um, okay, what else? Jay Ennis is saying 6-5. Abdul is saying 4-1 for Barca. Charles Desi is saying 2-1. Henry is saying 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Jenny is saying 6-5. No! Yeah. What are you saying? Ty is saying 2-0 no for Barca. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with a 2-0 as well. I think I'm going to go with you and say 2-0. Ahmed oh. al Khaib is saying 3-1 for Barca. And Jad is saying 1-0 for Barca. Jade saying 4-2 for Barca. 
Can you imagine six goals tomorrow? I feel like that could possibly happen, eh? Ay, Dios. Jasmina say three, Neil for sure. Because the game was very open in terms of PSG arrived to our box pretty simply and we did the same. So I think it's a, it was a very open game. So I, I can expect much more goals unless the tactics are changed for the second leg and they become much more compressed. Um... Aya Ali wow. says Lewandowski to start. I'm gonna go with a one. Colombia is saying one for PSG win four six on aggregate. No 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 no. We do not want that at all. Nathan is saying three one Barca and into the semifinals. That's what we want to hear. We want to be through to the semifinals. That's it, guys. That's Whoa, about it. We want to go uh, show right you guys. <laughs> She's very nervous. We're gonna ask you guys some question. Oh. Um, but first, we're going to try to get the where and when to watch the game. We yeah, have kind we're of going like to show it to you guys. There you go. We have a graphic here where you can see from wherever you are around the world what time the match will be for you. Now, drop a one if you guys are going to the game. Drop a two if you aren't. But drop a one. We want to see how many of you who is watching right now live on Bars on Air. How many of you guys are going to attend this huge game against PSG tomorrow in the Champions League. We're going to be reading the live chat. We want to see. We would love to see so many ones because that just means we have more culés at the stadium with us. It's a shame that the, the Stadio Olympic is not like 100,000k seats for tomorrow because if you have 100, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that tomorrow is going to be sold out. But the good thing about being all together and packed in the Stadio Olympic, we have to make a lot of noise. We should do it together. Yes, we should make a lot of noise and be there for all the coolers are not available to come to Barcelona and to the game. For sure, for sure. I'm seeing lots of twos. I mean, a lot of you guys can't come. It's totally understandable, but we are. You have it here on your screens what time the match will be. So make sure you guys stay tuned. You watch it. If you guys aren't watching live from the stadium to be able to support us um, from anywhere. From anywhere. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Chang Senyu was saying his his the game will be at two a.m. At, in his country. That is very in very. Jeff Boy say in Australia gotta wake up at four a.m. But we'll do. Oh, four a.m. Well, I mean the game in Sydney is at five. That's insane. Goodness. John Anna saying Jakarta it's gonna be at two a.m. Logo. I love it. Suvaya saying, do Barca Live on Match Day. We will have a Barca Live on Match Day. Stay tuned. It's going to be on YouTube, guys. Robert will be hosting that, so make sure you guys stay tuned. He They're said it's 8.30 tomorrow 8:30. for them. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Guys, well, we have to say it. goodbye. Yeah. Should we do the intuition challenge? Let's do the intuition challenge. Before that, we want to tell you guys to make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on Snapchat, on YouTube. Be real. On Be Real. What YouTube, else? Am I missing Facebook. anything? Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. Snapchat, I think I see. WhatsApp channel. WhatsApp channel, my sure. channel. Discord as well. Discord. <coughs> what else? I think I'm having a coughing attack, so you might have to say okay, this. Bye. Thing. <coughs> okay, bye. Okay. Intuition. <coughs> Shall we do it? Uh, because we're gonna go now. Okay. In one, two, three. <gasps> Yay! <Come on>, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Adeu.